Hello, everyone. My guest today is Daniel Hauschid. He's building a company called Imagely, uh, which is where he strives to build platforms to make design more accessible for everyone. After graduating with a PhD in electrical engineering in 2015, he had a few interim CTO positions in the local startup community. In 2017, he co-founded Imagely with his partner, his, his, his co-founder. All right, Daniel, ready to take us to the top? Sorry? Are you ready to take us to the top? I'm ready. Thank All you right. for having me. You bet. So tell us about the company. This is specifically for designers. Is it a B2B SaaS tool? Or it's specifically for non-designers, actually. It's our SDK, so it's more like it's SaaS, yes. So it's a um, software development kit, so it's targeted for developers, actually. Um, so basically customers which build photo editing or even like things where you need photo ed- editing, like, for example, you're building photo books or something, or you have a social media network where you want image upload, crop it, filter it. That's where we come in as a plugin solution, which you just take take into your product and everything works. Okay. And what's the model? Is it one time? Is it monthly, annually? How do you price? Yeah, it's uh, subscription-based. So we have both options, both monthly or annually. Yeah. Okay. And what's it cost per month? It totally depends. We have, it's pretty modular. It totally depends uh, how many features you take, etc. Because you can imagine you can just take something like crop or filter, but it can be more advanced like overlays, special tools can create graphics automatically, etc. It starts like a really low with, let's say, $29 or euros, depends uh, per month, but can go up to, to way higher if you take the full suit and integrate it in your product. What's the, what's the customer who's paying you the most? What are they paying you per month? So you can approximately say it, it, it depends a bit about the support, et cetera, they get, but it can be around 20, 25K, yes. Uh, per month? Per, no, no, uh, per year then. Per year. Okay, got it. So $2,000 per month. Yes. And, and, if you, and if you look at what the average des- non-designer is paying you per month or per year, what would you say the average is? Yeah, the problem is that the average is not the real average because, uh, because sure, it's not that uh, there's a customer which has the, the medium plan, let's say this way. So the average, I guess, it's it's totally depends. It could be like 500 okay. in average, but you cannot just calculate the average, but it's hard to say. Well, I mean, you, you can calculate the average. What you're saying is it's, it's not representative of the business, right? The average sure. is just total revenue divided by customers. So that's your average. But what you're saying is very different. Yeah, you have very you have very different profiles of people. Um, okay, so so again, tell us more of the backstory here. So you launched the you actually had your first paying customer in 2017, or you started writing the code? All right, summer of way around 2016, we had started writing the code um, basically, and we actually wrote it not for sale in the beginning. Actually, we were part of a bigger software agency, digital agency, and we were having different, let's say, customers which. We figured out needed something like photo editing in their applications, but to be honest, they were not willing to pay the amount of money it would take to build it really, right? And so and we started building it ourselves, more like a side project, and then said, okay, you can just have it in your, pro- uh, in your product, but it was not, the, let's say, the sum you would pay if you develop it one time. So this is how we really started, and then we really put it on GitHub back then. Um, seeing if somebody might might use it. And eventually we thought maybe it's just an open source tool and people will be happy about it. But um, then things changed quickly. Well, what changed? What changed? Or, uh, one of, so for sure, somebody called us and said, okay, it's a really nice tool, but how about a commercial license? So how about support, et cetera? And that was the first where we where we realized, okay, somebody likes it very much and really wants to pay for it and needs the support for it. And so we started, um, yeah, we started really licensing this SDK. For in, in the beginning, it was like really one time payment, yeah. So so it was like our first first uh, start with it, and this is what changed in the, in the beginning. Yes. Okay, so you put it up on GitHub. Did you was the agency your agency or were you an employee at the agency? I myself was an employee, but my co-founder was also founder of the agency. So um, this is how it started. How did you guys spin the technology, the code out of the agency? Well, this was far later, to be honest, Um, like two years ago. Mm -hmm. First, we left it inside the agency and kind of split the pot and said, okay, this is this is this team and this is this team. And later we are yeah, we just like you normally do. You, you found a new company and you have to pay some taxes, et cetera. And then uh, you have that one. 
Okay, but you and the agency co-founder split equity in Imagely. Yeah. I see. And how many total people are on the team today? Oh, today we are 30 people. 30 people. Okay, wow. So you've grown to 30 people. Have you bootstrapped or did you do raise? We didn't raise at all. The only money we took was, let's say, the initial investment of the agency, which meant like at the very, very beginning, for sure, one employee was like building it on the site, let's say, on, let's say, 10 hours per week, et cetera. But even after that, we um, just took the money we got from new licenses and hired new people and invested it over the years inside into the product. And that's where we are today. So how much money would you say the agency put in initially? So it's really a rough number you know, because hard, hard to differentiate, but maybe 100,000. Could be 100,000. Oh, be because it's, like I said, it's hard to tell because the people are going to work full time in the beginning, et cetera. Yeah. Yep. And how many customers do you have using the technology today? Today, around 400 worldwide. Okay, 400 worldwide. That's great. And obviously, churn is critical with any sort of SDK or SaaS company. But what's your churn today? Yeah, we are pretty lucky, I guess. We have, an average, we just, I just looked it up. It was like under 2% this year, over the year, on average. Wow. Why is it? I mean, that is extremely low. Why is it so low? That's for the whole year, not monthly. That's 2% per, no, that's for the year. The average over the year, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, Okay, you can say it's also per month then, but still. Um, well, no, no, hold on. Is it is it 2% per month or is it 2% for the whole year? It's an average 2%, so it's per month. One. Okay, got it. So, 20, so 24% churn annually. Okay, then I... Okay, then I made a mistake. No, then two percent per year because it's really, it's really not, not even one person per month sometimes. So just to be clear, yeah. So Hold just, on, let me just make sure we're doing this right. Okay, so if a year ago you were doing a hundred thousand dollars a month in revenue, right, and to, and you have two percent annual churn, that means today you're doing ninety eight thousand dollars a month in revenue from that same customer base, ignoring new customers. Exactly. So okay. but not each customer has the same amount of what they pay, but of yes, course, it's pretty, yeah. well, you're right. Uh, and now we are forgetting the new customers, right? Um, yes, but churn based, you're right. That's great. Okay, so 2% uh, churn. And then break down the team a bit for me. There's 30 folks total. How many are engineers? The half of it. I would say half of it and or four or five of it are designers. And then it goes to our marketing, sales, our product people. Yeah, we have every, actually everything in our company. So we don't outsource anything. Well, Basically, the whole full setup that you need for a company is yours. Daniel, is the price point high enough where you can have salespeople with quota selling it? Uh, actually, good question. We don't have quota currently. It's not our concept. Um, but we, I think we could. Um, but it's not how people work in our companies these days. So it might happen in the future. Um, yeah. Now, 400 customers at that $500 a month sort of average, that would put you guys at what, around $200,000 a month right now in revenue? Yeah, a bit less, but yes, you could say so. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and where were you about 12 months ago, just so we can understand growth? So I think 12 months ago, we were like 125, something like that. And okay. I, I can tell you that we, in average, it's like 2 to 3% currently that we are steadily growing uh, per month per the month. last year. Yeah. So what, Where's the growth come? I mean, this is a great story, right? You've bootstrapped your way up to about a $2 million runway company. You know, we know how you got your first customer. It was the GitHub SDK. How did you get your first hundred customers? Yeah, actually, in the beginning, it was really finding us on GitHub for some reason. and But then we quickly switched to our, let's, let's say we created a landing page and all the SEO game for sure. So we are present there and you can find us if you search anything about photo editing and SDK or something like that. Uh, and later for also paid search, uh, paid things, uh, et cetera, and blog posts that we write uh, in the technical realm, et cetera. Yeah, but I think most of it comes from typical SEO, SEO, SEO. How much do you spend monthly right now on paid advertising? Uh, really not much. I think many people will pay much more. I think it's like maybe a thousand per month. Okay, so okay. Much. Not a ton at all. Yeah. And then if we look at if you look at uh, some of the the keywords that you guys are ranking for, what are some of the like if I search in Google, what would you come up number one for? Yeah, for sure, photo editor, and then anything that comes with SDK, SAS, um, maybe some programming languages as it's a developer product. So photo editor and then something like C plus plus Swift, pretty specific to to developers. Uh, also image editor. These days we also have video editing, so there's video editor, SDK, and such things that rank most. Interesting um, video editor SDK. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. 
Interesting. And is this so? So SEO is a main play. Paid spend is very small. How many new customers are you adding per month right now? Ooh, let's say I think it's like five to ten. It totally depends. Mm -hmm. Yep. And those can be as again as small as a hundred bucks a month, or as big as a thousand or two thousand a month. Yes, exactly. And to be fair, we these days we tend more to the bigger customers. Um. So um. But it's both. So we target both, but. We target more and more like the big enterprises because our software is built for enterprises and yeah, they leverage most of the features, right? And you're bootstrapped, which means worth worst case you're break even, but you could be making a lot of profits and you know doing dividends with the team. Which one is it? Are you reinvesting everything in break even or not? It, to be sure, to be honest, we are currently reinvesting everything we have because we have uh, let's say bigger plans currently. Um, and so we have this product. It's you're right. It's uh, generating revenue. We can pay our team. We also would have money to spend on or for, for other things. So we currently do more stuff with it. Yes, we reinvesting it. What's the bigger plan? The bigger plan for sure is extending the SDK business. I already told you that we have video editing integrated now. I started integrating it. And these days we extend more to complete layouting technologies that can do more than just photo editing, but also compose complete uh, things like multi pages and all that stuff. So that's what we're currently doing and what we actually ship to, let's say this way. Very cool. And if you were to back into a CAC to get a new $500 a month customer, what would you say you spend to get these customers? It's really not easy. It's something we think about a lot. Um, so as you can see, we're not spending much on our, let's say, paid ads. But I would definitely go there and put put more effort there. That's what we're currently trying to do with more A-B testing and how maybe also uh, look for, let's say, teeth, um, like other channels where you can put banners or ads, not maybe um, Google itself, but maybe on forums and all that stuff or newsletters and all that stuff. Yeah. What about the other components of CAC? CAC isn't just paid spend. You have a marketing team, you have a sales team. When you look at what your fully weighted CAC is, what would you put it at? It's actually, actually, I don't know. I have to look it up. So, but it, so, um, so I don't want to say something which is not true in the end, you know? So. No, 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 that's fine. I mean, if you, again, comp this is always sort of a guess by companies, but right. If you, if you are taking basically 10 to 20, you know, 10 new customers per month, 10 to 20, and you just basically take your total expenses in sales and marketing and paid. So sales and marketing salaries, all your paid spend, and then just divide by 20, you can kind of back into a rough fully weighted yes. CAC. So, so like you like you said yourself, so we are paying our whole team. So if there are like say four to five people are currently in marketing and sales, yeah. So average salary is in Germany. It's let's let's say it's make it simple. It's maybe two two hundred k in salaries. Might be less. Might be more. So um, yeah, it's that by twenty. Yeah. So. Two two sorry two hundred k five people on the team. You pay them two hundred k per month total. 20k are per, per year because maybe someone is or maybe not. So we have, we have people who are full time workers. So and in Germany, series like from 50k to 100k approximately depends totally. Um, and are so um, we have some juniors, we have some seniors, you know, so I said in average, maybe 200k, maybe 250. But so total total annual salaries added up for that five person team is so called 200k are, um, for sales and marketing. Yeah. So, so you could take that back to a monthly basis and say it's what is that uh, eight eighteen fifteen thousand dollars per month divided by ten new customers. So call it like fifteen hundred bucks to get a new five hundred dollar a month customer, something like that. Yeah, you can could say it that way. Ish. Yeah, yeah. How do you? So I mean, how do you ultimately, if you want to put more money on direct like paid channels, you sort of have to figure out again like a better idea of sort of what CAC is. So what is your process right now for launching new paid experiments? Um, so there, it, it totally depends. So currently we do it sometimes feature based because we have different use cases and our, so we figured out over the years that photo editing is uh, really, um, you can, can use it for photo books or you can use it for in theme parks for joy rides to take the pictures, etc. You know, you can use it for the police to create pictures from, uh, or, uh, from other things. So we totally always, we are, we always do the same. We are, have created a new feature, which we might have developed with another uh, customer. So we know in which um, use case this customer was in, and then we can maybe see if we can target this more specifically. Yeah. And um, then we, yeah, we put out the ads and we have designers to create different versions of it, see which may perform better. But the volume you see, uh, I, I told you we, we pay like a thousand currently and the volume for the search volume isn't that high that you can, let's say be a totally data driven company that that's the numbers are 
uh, so solid in, in let's say months or something. Yeah. So so we have to, be, to do a guessing and talking to customers, and we talk to our customers a lot, and then try to figure out what is it. Yeah. So what what is what they're looking for basically. Okay, Daniel. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, favorite business book. Uh, lately, I read uh, Blitzscaling by Reid Hoffman, which I really liked. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Yeah, these days I'm following Sebastian Trun. Which company is he with? Uh, he was a uh, founder of Udacity, but now oh. he's having, I don't know the name of the company, but something with flying cars. <laughs> um, Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building Imagely? My favorite online tool um, is actually GitHub because a lot of, we have a lot of developers. Yeah. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? These days I really get seven because I realize that uh, sh I should have that. And what's your situation? Married, single, kids? I'm currently single. Okay, not married, no kids? No kids. All right, and how old are you, Daniel? I'm uh, 37. 37. Last question. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Um, I think I should have... I should have known that I should, should try to get into business. I spent a lot of time in academia, which I really liked. But would I have known what I have not, what I know? No, I would have started early with creating businesses and learning there on the go, etc. Guys, Imagely, an image editing SDK, also now vi video editing SDK, 400 customers paying 500 bucks ish per month. But again, that really does vary. That's just an average doing caught a little less than $200,000 a month right now in revenue or about a $2.4 million run rate. That's up from $125,000 a month just a year ago. So about two to 3% month over month growth. They're doing this all bootstrapped, which we love. They're profitable and bootstrapped team of 30 people, 15 engineers, five on sales and marketing, one or two sales folks, only 2% annual turn, which is pretty incredible as they look to continue to scale into the enterprise. Daniel, thanks for taking us to the top. Thanks, Mason. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares backend dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.